Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name, sheep's the game, and today we're going to be looking through our rams. How many do we need to buy? How many can we save? How many have to go to market? Let's find out. So the camera wasn't working as I got the rams in, but I got this footage on my phone. You can see them in all their glory, and you can see them here. Let me just let me just check this works. Yeah, that's on uh, auto catch. Let's close the entry gate just now until we're ready and get a look at the sheep here. So we've got Sky and Meg keeping guard at the gate. Now, first observations. Now, I, I'll be honest. Since Lizzie showed these rams, I've hardly saw them. Other than I drive around the field now and again, but Lizzie does most of the checking. Our swarbles. Basically all the black ones, not this blue texel. This blue texel's still entire. But the, these three here, Swarble, Dutch Spotted Swarble, are all teasers. So they've had a vasectomy. The Dorset here as well is a teaser. So that's one, two, three teasers. Is there another Dorset? There's two Dorsets. Four teasers. Four teasers. So that's four big rams you have to keep all year just to synchronise the ewes. We might change away from that style going forward. Is this a, I don't know why this lamb's here. It's not even a tup lamb. I don't know why that lamb's in there. We'll find out what weight it is in a bit. We're slowly moving towards a lot of our texels coming from Logie Durno. That's a blue cross texel that I bought. I speak about this big guy all the time because he was like 150, 200 pounds. And he's been a cracking ram. Don't have a go at me, big boy. Let me just check what condition you're in. Oh aye, still in good condition. They're actually all looking pretty good. The blue... He's an older boy, he'll be going away, I think. This guy here is looking a lot better. And that was my, my newer one that I got as a shearling last year. That's a Logie Durno breeding, although I bought it from Michael Logan, who's a local farmer here in Ayrshire. The Charlie there starting to go wrong with the foot. I didn't even use him last year. Like, what a waste. We'll, we'll definitely put him to something this year. As I wander around the pen here, I don't see anything that I think well, apart from him, he's he only to go. There's nothing else looks desperate. Like maybe this guy as well. Let's run them, run them out of Tapari, get a proper hand on them. Sort any sore feet. This one's lame, is it? Get them all through the foot bath as well. Like here's Lizzie and Jock here now. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Some buzzy. Eh? I tell you what we'll do, we'll just keep wandering around, we'll pick out these lame ones and we'll just jag them. Or we'll just slip them up there to be jagged. And we'll, we'll record it, get it on the flock watch. Right. Eat it, Jock, it'll make you hardy. Come on inside this way. You're going to end up getting whacked here. No, I went the Swarble. I, don't, I think the other two, the other ones are okay. Oh, is that front one? Look at the big foot in him. Put them up, we might just trim their feet actually. Oh, much job. See, if I wasn't holding this camera, I would help you. Just spent five minutes trying to find, well, 10 minutes trying to find a pair of hoof trimmers because we never trim feet here as a general rule. And I found an old pair with no spring, but we're going to, we're going to trim the ram's feet because I feel they grow different. Jesus, look how tall he is. <laughs> look how tall he is in the tapari here. You're not going to be able to tip him up to do his feet. I'll just go a wee bit further away, Mister, so you can see how I'm holding. How it actually works here. I've got this heartbreaking without the spring. Although they are really good shields, these. And they're not expensive. There you go. Just a wee tidy up, boy. Give me your other one up. Good lad. It's just a sore one. Here's a sore one here. You can see he's got a wee bit of an infection there. Look at Jock. <laughs> Tell you the honest truth, it's breaking my heart these shears when they spring in them.
Jeez, Jock, you've done well there. Oh, it's quite sensitive in there, I don't know how can it that. Just a wee bit of, wee bit of foot rot in there. We'll get some blue spray. So, a wee bit of, wee bit of blue spray. One there. A jag of Draxon. A jog. Are you standing up in your tractor now? He's a big guy, we'll give him two mil. Here. Into the muscle. We'll give him a wee. We'll give him a little go of meta cam as well, I think. He's in good fettle, despite that sore foot. Um, and just so I know you've been done, boy, we'll just get a wee red dot there. And we'll know you've been done, right, Jock? If you're going to stay there, I'm going to let him come off this side. Right. Right, whatever you do, don't you get hurt, Jock, because I'll get the blame. There we go. Done. Right, next one. So, again, dead easy. You're just lifting, trimming. Just tidying up some of these loose bits here. I think we'll just give you some antibiotics as well. Check the testicles. We didn't check the testicles of the last one because it makes no difference, he's a teaser. Even just the smell of him brings the ewes into cycle. His, his testicles feel very good. He's in good fettle. Oh, it's his front foot's bad, he'll definitely need antibiotics. Let's uh, Yeah, I'm just going to bring him forward a bit. If I can, he's a... Wee bit. Wee bit forward. Try that. Yeah, watch your sail drop. Good boy. Right. That makes it a bit easier to get in here. That's a good foot first, and this is a bad foot here. Come in here, Mercy, you'll see. Big, long, overgrown hoof, and it's the reason it gets overgrown like that is because he stops using it, because it hurts. The hooves sort of regulate themselves by being used, the, the length anyway. So you start seeing them overgrown like this, it's because it's sore. Yes, I know. And he's not wanting to use it, so. I don't want to cut too much of this soft stuff. I think we'll just leave him as is there. Give him some antibiotics, some blue spray. Okay, yeah, yep. Uh, oh, I need to get the pedal put in because it's a nuisance doing this. Oh, is that a tilt? Oh, goes quite fast, eh? You want to press it? Hang on, Jock, let Dad just get his ear tag number. So, as we did with the first one there, head watch. Let me put you on screen record. We'll get this recording. So we'll take his ear tag number. Well, they're terrible tags. They're terrible tags. I'm not sure I can even see his number. 501964. 501964. 501964. 501964. Hi, there's there. Okay, three and a half years old, this boy. Can we see what else has he had? Just fasten X, that's it. Um, so let's add a treatment here. Select animal. Sheep treatment. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Draxon. Next. Administered by Cami. Cami. Those, I gave him two mil. And it was a, a sore foot. 
and now it's front right, wasn't it? Yes, front right. Next, continue, save. Boom. Just like that. This guy here, his feet are actually okay, but if you come in here close, you'll see the, the snorters on his nose and he's very raspy of the breathing. Can be an indication of a bit of pneumonia or even just the way he's kind of bloated there of the belly. Just something not 100% with him, so we're going to give him a drag, or we have gave him a jag of Draxon as well. Oh, next one straight in, no messing about. There we go. Just try to keep these guys right till they're ready to work. Good feet in this lad. Good condition. Everything's fine with them. Testicles are fine. When you're feeling the testicles round the back, you're looking for them to be as you would when you're buying them. Even sized. Nice and, you know, firm but not rock solid. And the little bit at the bottom of the, the sack, I can't remember what you call that again, but that shouldn't be all hard and crusty. That can be a dangerous sign as well. And of course, really we should be looking and checking the peasel as well, isn't any issues there, but he's absolutely fine. Next big boy, horrible narrow leg thing this. Terrible to look at actually, you would never buy that out in the sale ring. If you were wealthy enough to afford that. A proper top. So you see this sheep here. It's had this little crack. This is this like a cow's foot. It had a little crack here, so I've just been digging back down. And look what I found in here. A maggot eating its way into the foot. There's a Maybe a couple of them in there, that's a big thing. Unbelievable how they get burrowed away in there under, look at that. That's alright big boy, let me just see what else is in here, if there's more of them. I don't want to cut into the quick, but I just want to clear away this, let the air into this, and get the maggots out of it. You can see the difference. It kind of looked all sealed over and not too bad, but I could tell by the size of it that it was infected in some way and swollen and, and, and a little bit sore, so. We just did a bit of investigating, and here's what we found. We'll get him some antibiotics as well. Go forward, we'll do the front feet, boy. Just relax, big guy. Just a tidy up. Foot, I'm thinking. Just like that, they're done. Far too many lame there, to be honest with you. Some worse than others. These, these, these. Just carrying little bits, but now's the time to get on top of it, get, get it sorted. Loads of time before they go out. These guys won't go out until around about the 14th of November this year. We'll put to a lambing back about a week, I think. Okay, 10 texels, does about 500 sheep. I uh, won't be far away. There's two of them I don't like, so that's eight. Right. Probably going to need another four, I think. Yeah. Hey you! Oh, jeez, that was close. Meg nearly got nailed there. Don't get hurt, Meg. Yeah, need another four. So, top sales with a Logie Durnal sales tomorrow. I'll probably just text the boys there and ask them to look me out for. And we'll just... Have to take the hit and pay the bill when it comes. <laughs> buying tops, I hate buying tops.
probably limping a lot worse now that I've kind of opened them up a bit. I don't, usually we don't, I think those big thick hooves, you need to open them up, let the fresh air into them. For sure. Back out they go. Right, that's the squad. We've plenty of blues. We are buying, in fact I'm not going to tell you too much what we're buying, we're going to try a little trial on some unusual breeds of tups this year, but I'll save that for another one. But we definitely need four texels. And I think that's about it. That's us for this one, sheep fans. See you for the next one.